Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads that if a 10 kg ball has a velocity of 3 meters per second when it is at the position A along the vertical path, determine the tension in the cord and uh, increase in the speed of the ball at this particular position. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, our 14th edition by RSC Bellan. So let's draw the free body diagram. I'll tension this particular cable there where I've shown green. And let's write down the tension force in the cable. So expect the tension force in the cable like so. Okay, like so. And uh, uh, the other one in that manner. Then we'll have the weight. We are going to have the weight of this ball as usual acting through the center of gravity. And um, what else? Of course, this axis, uh, this axis there, it is the N. This is the N axis. This is the N axis. I'll show that later on. Um, so we have the weight. And the weight is going to have components along the T coordinate okay which is perpendicular to so let's say this is our t does it look perpendicular i'm not sure okay something like that I'm not sure whether it is perpendicular but it cannot be that perfect right Alright, uh, maybe like so, something like that. Great. There we go. So we'll have uh, that. And we are saying in this direction, this is going to be a positive. Just one minute. Let me clean it up this side. I clean it up also, maybe this side. So let me say this coordinate system. Uh, this is our T. This is our T, okay, and then this side, along this direction, since uh, I've indicated the tension force there, okay, along that direction, it's straight enough, not at all, okay, maybe something like this, along that direction, okay this is our n all right this is our n going in this is our n i could have drawn it the other side there but this is our axis like so so this is our weight like we said and uh this angle here uh this angle here is uh 45 uh where is this angle here this is 45 okay this is 45 so we are going to have components we'll have components in this direction like so we'll have one along this direction and i use another color we'll have one in this direction And then we are going to have another one in this direction. Okay. Where will I show it? I don't have to mess up with. Uh, let me show it along this. Uh, we said this is our N. So instead of showing it the other side there, it will be coming down. I'll show it here. So we're going to have another component in this direction like so i would have shown it here but uh, i didn't want to mess up i've already indicated some work there all right so let's write down what these components are so let's call this as um, w uh, sine 45 and we call this w cos 45 all right and then 
let's say the acceleration along this direction we are going to have tangential we are going to have the tangential uh, which is m a t and then along this direction we we'll have the centripetal force which is our m a a okay so let's write down now the equations of motion so let's say summation of forces um, in the end going in this direction as our positive okay is equal to m a n where our a n is just equal to v squared divided by rho uh, and then we have m equal to 10 kg yeah so let's apply the equation so what do we have in this direction we do have t i think label this this is our t okay that's our t so we're going to have t minus w cos 45 equal to m a n therefore our t is just going to be equal to m a n which is just v squared divided by rho and our rho here is just equal to 2 meters okay and then we have plus uh, and our w is just equal to mg which is just equal to 10 times 9.81 so this is just w cos 45 and writing this this just becomes uh, m v squared divided by rho mv squared divided by rho okay uh, plus mg uh, cos 45 so our t therefore we can factor out the m and the m is 10 um, our v is equal to uh, so this one is our v also which is equal to vt is equal to 3 meters per second so we'll have 3 squared divided by rho and we said rho is given as equal to what is rho equal to rho is equal to 2 meters so divided by 2 right and then we'll say plus g is just 9.81 so we'll have 9.81 uh, cos 45 all right so with this we can therefore find calculate our t which will just give us the following so we have 3 squared divided by 2 plus 9.81 cos 45 uh, times 10 so our t is just equal to one one four point uh, three eight newtons okay that's three squared divided by two plus nine point eight one cos forty five times ten okay so found the value of t let's find the value the increase in the speed which is the acceleration eighteen so say summation over forces in the t axis equal to m a t uh, in this direction being our reference positive okay right um what what we have so here we are going to have uh we have w uh sine 45 um this is the only component in there this is equal to m a t and therefore our a t we know what w is is just equal to m g so our a t therefore will just be equal to 
W sine 45 divided by RM and this is equal to MG divided by M cos um, I mean sine 45 so this part and this part goes therefore our 80 is just going to be equal to 9.81 sine 45 computing that computing that we have the following our 80 will just be equal to this is tangential acceleration 9.81 sine 45 this we get a six point a six point nine four uh, meters per second squared and it's going in this direction all right uh i think this is about it we found the tension as well as the increase in the speed so let's just outline this like so and then we have our increase in the speed the rate at which the speed is increasing all right which is that so i hope this video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next screencast